tender, pull apart, slow roast lamb shoulder gets me every time. If it's on the menu when I'm out, it's a guaranteed order. And I frequently cook this at home for a long, lazy Sunday roast. The best part is a lamb shoulder will easily feed a large crowd, or if there's only a couple of you, you'll have plenty of leftovers to enjoy during the week. Sweet lamb meat loves a bit of spice. So I'm gonna show you now my Korma slow roast lamb shoulder with a beautiful fresh mint sauce. You'll need to start this recipe, obviously, with a lamb shoulder. So I always go lamb shoulder with a bone in. So this is about 1.8, two kilo uh, lamb shoulder. Obviously, this is a slow um, cooking cut of lamb. Uh, the shoulder of the lamb, obviously, up the front does a lot of work and we've got a lot of kind of sinew and fat in here. So you need to cook this low and slow. What I like to do with a lamb shoulder is just grab a little paring knife and just trim away any large chunks of fat. You obviously want to leave some fat on here so it keeps it nice and moist as it cooks. But if you see any large chunks, just grab a paring knife and just shave some of them off. Now to help get our korma sauce down into the lamb, I'm just going to make some little spikes. Just do that all over the lamb and on the base side as well. Okay, I have got some Patax Korma paste to go onto the lamb. So, this makes life easy. I think the thing is, with slow cooking, it's always a bit of a trade-off. Yes, it's a long time in the oven, but it's about three minutes preparation and then you can forget about it. This makes life really simple. This is loaded with things like cumin and fennel, ginger, and all of those things that go really well with our sweet, slow-cooked meat. So what's gonna happen is, all of our spices and fragrance is gonna cook in the oven and combine with all of the juices from the lamb and it creates just the most delicious roast for a Sunday. So you need about half a jar of the korma paste and I like to use a spoon to just rub it all over the lamb and rub it into those little gaps that we've created with the knife. Grab a large roasting tray, pop the lamb in. I'm going to season with some sea salt. And I'm popping in two cups of water. So a lamb shoulder needs a few hours in the oven, up to five hours. You can cook them even lower and slower, up to 12 hours. So you need some moisture in with the lamb. This helps keep our lamb meat really tender and obviously the water will evaporate as it cooks. So just pour that in around the outside just so we don't wash off all the paste. I like to put some baking paper in between the lamb and our foil. This just keeps all of the flavour in rather than letting it escape out of our tray. And then cover tightly with foil. Okay, the lamb is all sealed up. This now goes into the oven at 170 degrees for around four and a half to five hours or until that lamb meat is just falling apart. When you press it with a spoon, you want it to almost just melt away from the bone. Our lamb has been ticking away in the oven for the last few hours. Our kitchen is full 
of lamb and korma smells. Let's have a look under the foil. Look at that. Beautiful, gleaming lamb shoulder. So all you need to do to test this is grab a spoon and if you push the lamb meat, you can feel it just pulling away from the bone. You do not need a carving knife for this. You could literally eat it with a spoon. So our lamb is looking lovely. So I'm going to remove the lamb. As you can see, there is all of this beautiful juice around the outside. That's all of the liquor from the lamb with our korma sauce that's been slowly cooking. And we don't want to waste that. So we are going to make a curry out of that. So remove ever so carefully the lamb shoulder. I'm just going to let that rest on a tray here. Pop on the two burners underneath the tray. And what I'm going to do is add some things in to make a curry sauce out of this. So I've got some lentils. This is just a can of brown lentils that are drained. Let's pop them in. And I've also got some spinach. So really, like, add in things that don't take any effort. We've done a really easy lamb shoulder with just some korma sauce on it. Just give them a mix through. And for a couple of minutes, we're just going to let the lentils take up some of the sauce and wilt down the spinach. I'm going to add in some coconut cream. This just mellows down all of our fragrant spices. Give that a stir. And we just want to gently let this cook, let the lentils take on some of the flavour of the korma. So I'm just going to leave that sit there for a couple of minutes to do its thing. So while that does its thing, we can make the mint sauce. So I've got a blending jug here. I've got some fresh mint and some fresh coriander, and I've just washed and picked the leaves. Pop that into the jug. A green chilli. I've just roughly chopped that up. You'll need some yoghurt. All of these things go really well with lamb. You know, mints, fragrant mints, a bit of chilli and some creamy yoghurt. Some lemon juice for some acidity. About three tablespoons. A pinch of salt. And a dash of maple or honey, or you could use some sugar. Grab a stick blender and you just want to blitz this until it's beautiful and bright green and nice and smooth. That is a lovely, cooling, refreshing mint sauce to go on top of our lamb. All we need to do now is to bring our three things together. So grab a serving plate or a dish. Our lentils have taken on some of the korma sauce and our spinach is nice and wilted. I'm going to pop this onto the base of our serving plate. That's a lovely bed for us to sit our lamb on. So the lamb's lovely and rested. Just pop this on top of our korma lentils and spinach. Any juices on the tray, do not waste them. Make sure you pour all of them over. And then pour over some of our fresh mint sauce. some extra mint and coriander just to go over. This is a bit of a celebration dish after all. That 
is a big, beautiful crowd pleaser, tender, sweet pull apart lamb with that fragrant sauce, all done in the one baking dish. This is low effort, but max flavor roast cooking right here. That is my Patax Korma lamb shoulder.